Meet Lucy. She has unclaimed property. Unclaimed property is money or assets that can include old bank accounts, life insurance policies, abandoned safety deposit boxes, and more. They're often kept by big companies or financial institutions until Lucy contacts them and says, hey, that's mine, I want it. Give it back, please. But she doesn't know she has any. She either forgot about it, lost touch with it, or never knew it existed in the first place. So Lucy obviously doesn't ask for it. How could she? This is the problem. The money belongs to Lucy, but because she's not claiming it, companies sometimes act like the money belongs to them, collecting interest off it for decades or even emptying accounts until there's little left. In fact, 60 Minutes led their broadcast with an investigation into shady practices by some insurance companies trying to hold on to it. They found, in some cases, that after a policyholder died and payment stopped, some insurers dipped into the cash value of that policy to keep payments coming rather than check to see if their own client had died. Payments kept going and going and going to insurers instead of to those it legally belongs to. Now some good news. There are existing laws that require companies give unclaimed property back to the rightful owners or turn it over to state treasurers so they can help find and notify the owner of the asset. These laws protect consumers. According to the National Association of Unclaimed Property Administrators, over $40 billion has been returned to states for people to claim. That's why it's so important to maintain strong unclaimed property laws, protecting consumers. But sometimes companies don't even know they have unclaimed property, so that's why states use auditors to help folks get their money. Naturally, some companies don't like auditors looking at their books because it may stop them from having such a good time with your money. So right now, some companies are trying to change the laws so they benefit and consumers don't. It could mean little or nothing for Lucy and more for them. Listen to real people just like you who all claim money after state-initiated audits of major life insurance companies. Uh, it did change my life uh, and basically helped me become debt-free. <laughs> so yeah, it, you know, it changed my life a lot. Yeah. When we complain about not being able to affect the way government affects us, we can do it very directly with this program by merely taking a few minutes to work on the computer, taking a few minutes to get some documents notarized and things like that, and uh, get the benefit directly to ourselves or our families. And I think that's why it's a very good program. I think it's great. I think it's great because there are a lot of people who are desperate, in desperate need of this money. It could make the difference between a mortgage payment or a meal or a prescription. It's, it's heartbreaking to think that someone who works so hard for so little money and yet still set money aside for their children to ease their lives wouldn't actually get transferred to them. Get involved to make sure laws are not rewritten to let corporate giants keep what's yours. Here's how to take action. Talk with friends and use social media to spread the word about unclaimed property. Urge your state legislators to support pro-consumer unclaimed property laws. Visit missingmoney.com or your state's unclaimed property website and search for your name and the names of loved ones. Then spread the word so they can claim their cash. Remember, unclaimed property stays unclaimed when people don't fight for what's legally theirs.